Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at the junction node. Now it is called a node but it doesn't actually appear in the node palette on the left hand side which is probably the reason why I forget to use it a lot of the time and other people probably are not even aware of it. Now the idea of the junction node is basically to a tidy up your flows um, because they can actually get uh, quite messy when you've got a node either feeding in this case where it feeds three separate other nodes or you've got the opposite way around where you've got multiple uh, inputs in, into a node and if I keep extending this and add uh, extra nodes on here and, and start feeding them into into there it can actually get quite messy very quickly Uh, also what happens when you want to change this node now in this case it's actually inject node but in most cases it could be a function node or a, or a change node and let's say it's a change node you want to swap it with the function node well you'd have to add the the node into it here and then you'd have to delete it and which would delete all these connections then you'd have to reconnect them all in now the junction node uh, actually solves all those problems so let's have a look at the junction node now we're just going to delete these and we're going to replace the, them with a junction node let's put that one there and to create a junction node you just right click here and you insert and you insert a node uh, not a node uh, but a junction node here and there it is there it's, I hope you can see it in the, in the video you can see it's got an input and output so it's only one way so we just connect this to here it won't let you connect it to the output and then you collect the other side to here And last one to here. Now let's just deploy this just so you can see that it actually works. Now if I inject here it will inject to all those four debug nodes so you can see coming out on the left hand sorry on the right hand side there. Okay so so far so good. Now this is the case where a node feeding into so this is the case where we've got an output node feeding into several input nodes. We could reverse it and we could have a, an input with uh, we can have a junction node with multiple inputs. So I can add another debug node here and feed it into there. Okay. But I'm not going to do that, so let's just delete those. Now and I said before it solves a problem, but what happens if you swap this node so if I'm going to swap this node now by deleting it with a function node or any other node then we just do that so that's it for the, this video so if you like the video then click the like button if you've got comments then then leave them below and if you want to get notified of new videos then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so until next time goodbye